Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare this week, part two. Finishing up with Wednesday, we looked at a new study that looked how GLP-1 drugs actually had worse results compared to individuals who had metabolic surgeries like bariatric surgery over 10 years, especially when it came to overall death rates. Before we get into the rest of it, if you want to help support the page, you can find some links in the bio to that, or if you just want to get all the links to the actual information we're talking about with some analysis, you can find the link to my bio on my Substack. Let's get back to it. On Thursday, we analyzed a large meta-analysis when it came to sleep studies that found that individuals who are actually doing 30 minutes or less of high-intensity yoga twice a week actually had improved sleep scores if they had underlying sleep disorders. On Thursday, the CDC Advisory Committee on Vaccines no longer recommends the MMRV vaccine for individuals under the age of four. Instead, they actually recommend doing it separately, meaning you get the MMR vaccine and a chicken box vaccine separately. On Friday, a massive study found that children who got higher amounts of radiation when it came to medical imaging had higher rates for blood cancers and it even progressed over time throughout their lives. And lastly, our most interesting study, in my opinion, on Friday found that individuals who had tattoos actually had lower risks for melanoma. And they're not exactly sure why, but they think it has something to do with either the immune response by getting the tattoo or these individuals were more protective while in the sun while getting tattoos. Anyways, that's all the major news for this week. I will see you tomorrow to break down the rest of the news.